Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be working on uh, Tristan's Bonneville. Uh, we got it rolled up here. Uh, honestly, wish we got that recorded because that was kind of funny. Uh, because uh, our driveway is on an incline and there's a curb and everything, so it was kind of a struggle. But um, Isaiah is here. He's uh, resurfacing the block for the new uh, or the the cylinder heads from the Bonneville. Um, they're doing a pretty good job. I mean, it's kind of hard to pick up on camera how nice it looks, but it's uh, definitely smooth to the touch. We're just using a uh, grinding wheel and some, uh, do you know what kind of it's disc? It's a Scotch-Brite, it's a Scotch-Brite type material. Like yeah, Scotch-Brite disc type thing. Makes it really easy just to like, you know, do it gently and nice and it'll be good. This will work. Uh, Tristan has many friends that have done this before and run them, so shouldn't be any problem. And, uh, yep, we just plugged up all the ports, got some paper towel in the area just to make sure no debris gets inside the engine. We're also working on the Bonneville here. We're basically at the stage with that motor where we can uh, start disassembling this one because we need the heads from it, obviously the intake manifold and supercharger, probably the oil pan and some other stuff. Uh, but we're in the process of tearing this down so we can yep. uh, get moving on with this, uh, with this uh, swap. So he's gonna be draining the coolant. We also, I'm not sure what Tristan's decide, but we might be doing some stuff to the transmission to uh, upgrade it because these things are Pretty much prone to breaking, no matter what you do. Stock I conditions. Haven't anything as of yet. So we're just making progress on this. We already took out the uh, fuel injectors and, or not took them out, unplugged them, got the drive belts off, unplugged the spark plugs and some other stuff. Uh, our plan, I guess, is to do kind of similar to what we did with the Camaro and lift the body off of it. Is that right? Is that what you wanted? Yeah, nice. I was thinking that. I, I mean, mean, if we if we get the lower intake manifold, supercharger, all that heads off. We could pull it, but I mean, we're going to take the transmission out anyway, so it makes sense to do it off from the bottom. Maybe. I have seen people do it from the top, but... I guess I need to do some research on what's easier. There is a lot of room if we take the exhaust off. I'd prefer not to lift the body off. Yeah, I kind of prefer that too, but... There's going to be, like, literally no room for this inside the garage. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's no room at all. I don't want anything else in here, no. We can't really take it with a subframe. Yep. Like, it's just going to have to be the engine and transmission by itself. So. All right, well, we're going to continue with this. We're going to drain the coolant, probably drain the intercooler. I we have also to buy a few more dollies. We also need we need to uh, test the intercooler. This is all your engine shit in here. Well, yeah. I mean, I bought the last one, so. Yeah, so you'll buy the next ones, too, for your own car. Yeah, True. for my own engine. So, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, we want to test the intercooler because Tristan thinks it might be leaking. Just run some hose water through it or something, see if it leaks. But uh, yeah, we're going to continue with this, and uh, we will update you once we have some more progress. Alright, so uh, we think it might just be easiest to remove uh, the exhaust, the supercharger intake manifold, cylinder heads, just as much as we can, and uh, that way it's like really open and it'll be easy to figure out to take out. Uh, we could try dropping it from the bottom, but we seriously just don't have the room and time to do that type of stuff, so. It's a lot more work, I think. Yeah, If so. we can do it at the top, it'll be easier in the end. Yeah, so we're gonna remove all that and then try taking the motor and the transmission out as one, and then uh, working on it from there. So uh, we got most of the exhaust bolts out. We're fighting one that's right down here. Which is such a shit spot. Oh, you know what, Davis? We can, move, we can remove this whole tensioner if yeah, we need it. Yeah, that'd be good. So it's yeah. right there, it's where my my socket's touching. It's just really hard because it's right below this, so we might need to end up taking the tensioner and coil bracket off here. Yeah, I think it would have to be awesome. All right, so uh, we got all the bolts out, finally. That was came, came out really easy. easy. Yeah. I thought we were gonna be struggling with that up there, the connector. I thought that too. Yeah. Up and out. Yep. Came off with the, uh, the gasket? Yeah, it did. Oh, no, the gasket's in there. Oh, it just has the, uh, the texture and of it. Yeah. And these are stainless. They don't look like they're stainless. Uh, they're probably not actually. They're so cheap. Probably not. They're stainless, I bet. Where'd you buy these? eBay or? Yeah. Yeah. They're like Speed Daddy. They're the cheapest of the of them. There's your starter. There's that starter. Did you like, did you unplug this already? Yeah. Okay. I was like. That actually sorry. will be good. So I can actually unplug the starter from up here instead of down there. Yep. Getting that thing installed was a huge bitch. That goes all the way under the car. Yeah, I'm gonna get this and it's gonna leak coolant. 
Wait, do you want to get a bucket under there? Um, here. Honestly, I don't think it'll help, Davis. It's gonna spray every like all on the transmission. If you want, though, it's your driveway. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so uh, sorry I haven't been showing much. My camera battery is having some issues. Uh, we ended up getting the Camaro's old engine. This is the new engine for his Bonneville. Uh, up on the stand, we got Vence's LQ4 off. It's only temporarily on the ground here. We're gonna be putting it on the tire until too much done with that. Vence is going to take apart the engine further at a later date. And uh, basically they just need to remove the balancer, crank, and mains and stuff. So next thing we're going to try it or do is lift the uh, LQ4, put it on this tire just so we can store it kind of like how we had the Camaro engine so we can uh, start working on this. So and also Isaiah finished uh, fi or cleaning up the uh, the block um, for the new cylinder heads and head gasket and whatnot. It's very smooth. Um, it almost looks like it came from a machine shop. Um, they would just be a bit more like absolutely perfect but this will work fine there's no recesses it's all very even so uh, should be good to go uh, also we're going to be taking the oil pan off um, and then once we have pretty much everything on here we're gonna be painting the engine as well so so uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started on that we're gonna be moving the uh, LQ4 back over onto the tire so we can store it and uh, it is getting pretty late so I'm not sure how much more progress we're gonna have but uh, we made some pretty decent progress today I think I can handle that. That's fine with me. Do you want me to swap out? Yeah. Here, sure. Tristan, do you want to record it? Oh my god. like a crab. <sighs> that hurt you, my fingers more than anything. You guys feel warmed up now? Yeah. No. No? I'm so cold. <laughs> I, I've been wearing a jacket this entire time. Oh, fuck. So this is where it, it will live for a little bit? Yep. Just crazy spots. So uh, now we can... Uh, this is this is, we're going to have to clean this out. I can see like the residue. So we'll have to get like uh, some rags and clean these out real well. Yeah, we actually, was... Davis dropped a bolt through the lifter hole. <laughs> yeah, well you dropped a paper towel through the same one. So... We're gonna have to. <laughs> we're gonna have to go fish it out. It'll be easy once we just flip it over. It's probably still got coolant in it though, so we got to be careful when we flip it. Hmm. Yee yee. Yee yee. See, we need you, Isaiah. I'll do the camera stuff, and you can work. Yeah, I do the shit whenever Tristan talks about my throat. Well, I mean, I was gonna do it, but you can just. Remember. So we're just taking the oil pan off and uh, we're going to be retrieving all the foreign objects that fell inside. We could also install the camshaft. And I cleaned this out too actually, so it's going to be fairly clean inside. Because this was the oil pan from the Grand Prix that I thought we were going to use for Project We're actually going to have to like, uh, turn it over for that bolt to fall down. See now all we just need is my long extension. There's two towels in there! There's two. Yeah. Isaiah! Tristan, what were you doing? None of your business. This actually does look reasonably clean inside. Yep. You know, except for the fact it's a GM product. We, just <laughs> open, we, we, we open it up and it has like <laughs> H-beam rods and like ARP stuff. My god, that would be sick. Alright, let's turn her over. This was also from the Grand Prix. Okay. <laughs> you hear that? What was that? that? No, that was no. a piece of paper. There, there it is! <laughs> yeah! Yeah. That's yeah. how we that's how we do it during Rig Garage. You know this? This yeah. has got to be bent like this. So that it catches all the oil that falls in and recycles it. Yeah. Because it's not doing a good enough job out of this. No, it ain't. It's gonna break. So I think we got everything out of there. Yep, I think everything's good. Forgot they kinda go like side to side a bit. Oh they do? What the fuck? Because your engine did it, too. like when we were putting the Camaro engine together, I'm like, oh, is yeah, that? they all do it. I'm that's like, is that not, normal? Yeah, let's, not, let's not do that a ton. Yeah, I was like, is that normal? And then, I mean, this is one that came out of a running that's car funny. and it does it okay. too. Okay, so it's now we'll be doing that in the car anyway. Oh my god. So True. this might actually be good because it has the Grand Prix style pickup too, because I think the Camaro one was different. Uh, so we won't even need to swap that out of your uh, your Bonneville. That's good. We need to tighten them though because I think I just hand tightened them. Yeah, we will have to do that. Yeah, but we could we could uh, 
Get the cam out, right? There's no reason. Yeah. What prevented us last time? The cam the is out. Being in? The cam oh, is out. the cam out. is out. That's need right. install We can cam. put the cam in. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh. New cam. New thumpy boy. We're going to have to squirt some lube on the <clears throat> on the bearings. New cam. Yeah. We saw Remember the way Cletus, the cleaner did? Yep. He squirted it in there. So, uh. What's that assembly lube? The assembly lube might be over here. God damn it. Our garage is a fucking mess. God damn it. We need a shop. You we know, seriously need to rent a shop space or something. Our jury rig, our jury, like instead of selling t-shirts, we should just have a, uh, one of those, it's like a GoFundMe, but Patreon. it's like a Patreon to pay for a rent for a shop. You know amazing. that with Patreons, though, you have to provide extra to content. Provide something for them. Well, we could provide thing. content. That's Exclusive not paid exclusive content. Exclusive so. content. So I can just drop Like you right? belly dancing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'll definitely do it. For, yeah, that'll definitely do it for all so, you guys. Watching. So, what do you guys think? Should we paint the camshaft red? I mean, it adds horsepower, <laughs> I think. Vote on our Patreon page, or page, please. Yeah. Getting that engine braking oil on it, and then we're gonna put assembly lube on them. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Not sure how we're gonna get on the I don't know, two I bearings. Really you put them in this. I think it's literally just wiping. Let it me off. see that cam. I've never seen this cam. I've oh. I've seen that stuff happen before. Really? Yep. I wouldn't worry about it. R oh, shit. Nothing's even gonna touch it. What about this? What do you mean? Like it's gonna rotate on this surface and like. Fine. Just um, yeah, I've actually never seen like the cam out completely. Damn, the one we put in the Camaro is like fresh. And because it was like, like new. Fucking... Well, you let this sit also for a long time. What you can do, you can take some really fine sandpaper and go over it. I think I have some. Can I what? Can you grab more of that oil? Yeah. Here's some 5,000 grit sandpaper. Oh shit. Okay. We could also potentially Here, do I would just oh, right, put mind. some oil on it and just go around it. Mm, okay. I've seen it done before. <clears throat> right on my driveway. Hell yeah. Yeah, there you go. Why don't I just take the Scotch Spray air, air grinder? That's what I was thinking. Wow, actually, this is. No, what? You would I know, never I do that. I was thinking, and then I'm like, nah, not a good idea. Oh, yeah. But, oh, my God. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> it actually did a decent job. Let me see. Oh, wow, that did. Like, that got, really a, that got a good amount of shit off. Here, let's look all around it. That's the major stuff. Yeah, I would keep going with it, yeah. actually. That's working really well. 5,000 grit. I'm polishing your knob, boy. This will be a thumbnail. Ooh. Let me see that. It's getting there. That's what you really need to focus on. But it feels super smooth. All right, we're gonna continue uh, polishing Isaiah's knob <laughs> and uh, be right back. So uh, Tristan is finishing up polishing Isaiah's knob, you know? So uh, Where's we're- Where's Brandon when we need him? This is definitely his first time because I'm not enjoying it. He's a boy, he doesn't know any better. A boy knows best. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this cam in now. Now we need to put some assembly lube on that thing. Yeah, I was just getting it ready. Gotta lube it up. <clears throat> Roll, rub it into all around it. You're gonna wanna. Yep. Get your fingers on there, baby. We roll up my sleeves a little bit, Davis. Yes, doctor. All, all that uh, that lube. Everyone in the comments will be like, "Don't touch the cam." I'm touching it. Come fucking soon. How, how else are we supposed to put it in? How else are we gonna put it in? How else am I supposed to make the boom boom tubes get rotated? All right, put her in. Let her eat. I'm pretty sure we lubed this up far better than we did the grass. Don't say that on camera. Just say it. Isaiah's getting it. Isaiah also got it in there far much easier than Tristan did. There you go. 
Like that went right in. It didn't take that much effort. So we want to. I want to review go. the other footage because we kind of struggled with that. I need to go and wash my hands though. We need to take the cam key off of the old one. Put yes. it on there. It's in there. Because <clears throat> I'm, I'm a thick. Oh, there's nothing on here. Maybe it's on the sprocket still. Because I'm a thick bitch. Otherwise, we'll need a new cam key. I think ZZP sells one, but. Yeah, they do for like a couple bucks. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. All right, I'll look for the, uh, the thing. So the new cam is in. Uh, we do need a new cam key because uh, I guess we lost it or it's just gone. I can't find it. It's not on the old cam. Uh, that won't be a problem though. I think we can buy a new one uh, pretty easily and we're not ready to really proceed with all this anyways. So uh, not the end of the world. All right guys, uh, I think we're pretty much done for today. Uh, it is starting to get a little dark out. We're going to go to Park Rose and grab some supplies. But we did get the engine up on the uh, stand here. Got it cleaned up a bit. Got the cam in. Uh, we do need a new cam key before we can put the whole sprocket cam assembly on, mm -hmm. uh, chain and everything. Now, the Bonneville, we got kind of broken down. Still a lot we need to take off of that. Um, all the exhaust and also the transmission uh, bracket, the bolt is bent at the bottom, so we're going to need to figure out that. Um, otherwise, I think we're going to be just done for today. Might take a look at the Bonneville, see if there's anything else small we can take off, but uh, uh, overall we're getting pretty close to uh, taking the engine out and swapping everything onto here. I can and, the uh, I thought we already drained the coolant. No. Did not, have the, n not fully out of the radiator. Ah. Well, we can drain it more. Uh, probably need to at least open up the engine or uh, the crankcase and drain whatever else is in there, water or oil. It did spew all the oil once it threw the rod, so uh, yep. We're going to go ahead and uh, end it off here, and uh, thanks for watching.